Alright everybody, what's up? Welcome to PLR Powerhouse. Uh, this is Creating Pages Part 2. So if you haven't watched Part 1 yet and you didn't understand uh, a few certain aspects, make sure to go back and clarify before we continue. So in this video, uh, we're just going to go over the following pages and how to create them. So we're just pretty much going to finish up the mini site. By now you should have a working grasp of how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to be using Composer to do so. Uh, we're just going to finish wrapping up these five pages, the sales page, terms page, privacy policy, the disclaimer, and the uh, paid product download page. Now, uh, this is important right here, the sales page. You should have received a sales letter of some sort with your PLR product. Even if you didn't receive an actual HTML page for the sales letter, you should have a graphic of some kind at least. And you should base your sales letter off of that. Now, if for some reason you don't you don't have a sales letter of any kind in your PLR product, you're gonna have to do some research on your own to figure out the best way to formulate a sales letter for your site. So let's go. Let's go ahead and get this stuff set up. Okay. So once again, let's open up Composer. Now we're going to, in my case, I'm going to open up yet another page that was included <clears throat> with my PLR report and this would be the, the sales page index page now it's time to chop this bad boy up so let's go ahead and get started on that I'm gonna start with the background again we're gonna change the background image to my own personal one click OK insert the image that we want now I'm going to try something different so what we'll do is go to free graphic creator dot com a website where you can create among <coughs> other things you can create headlines and you can create uh, money back guarantee certificates so I'm gonna create a nice little headline for my page now something along those lines let's see so you can choose between different styles hmm I'm looking for something like this so let's say would you like to make big money with PLR video? Get ready to take your and come to the next with PLR. This is how to have your subscribers and customers begging you for more. Now, uh, we can even, one of the cool things about this is that you can uh, put in some special effects like a highlights. And in addition, you can. Ch uh, scroll between different highlights so for example the same thing goes for underline you can scroll between different underlines styles I'm going to go with this one and, and I just like to go crazy with it so I'm going to put in another circle like 
like that. Draw arrows. Like so. Extra doodles. So what do we want? Put some dollar signs. That always goes over well. And there we go. That's what I'm going to have for my headline. So let me just save this graphic. Is it JPEG? No, whoops. Uh, so, just a moment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I went ahead into my folder. I picked up that uh, the headline created. Going to deposit it in the site pages along with the rest of the images. Click paste, and let's insert it in the page. Delete that. Insert my new headline. Just call it snapshot seven. Okay, so that's what that's what it's going to look like. Now, time has come to cut that out and insert the new image. Now, uh, some other things. We get to change up this from the desk of your name, which is this is my name here this year. Going to also make it black. Now, every every mention of the old course name will be replaced by my new one. Okay, so copy the squeeze page. We don't want that because we want people focusing on purchase. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So what I'm doing is again uh, changing all mentions of the old course name, and uh, I'm going to take this out because we're going to come back to it. We're going to uh, insert a buy button of our own in another video. Take out that footer and put it in my own. Oops, there is all that. Okay. Now uh, we're also going to make it a little bit less plain. We're going to insert a Johnson box here so I can also put in a money back guarantee certificate. So let's get it started. So go to table, insert table one by one let's give it 700 pixels board of one zero zero okay double click make sure it's centered now okay CSS editor is next say a new style rule let's call it dash box create borders top is going to be dashed with medium and click OK now go to dash box apply boom now that's all there is to it to create a dash box like that. Now let's go back to free graphic creator. 
Hey everyone, this is Mark House. Welcome. It's a video of that place. Ignore that. Now let's create ourselves a nice little guarantee. You can choose between all the different styles. I'm going to go with the classic blue. Put in a nice stamp. Don't need to change the text in there. Just write sincerely. And we're done. That is a perfectly good guarantee. Cut. Paste. Guarantee. Let's insert that as an image. Bam, now we have ourselves a nice money back guarantee. And it's looking good. The sales page looks like it's ready to go. And that's all there is to do it to make a sales page. Now, what's next is we're going to uh, create a few more pages. We're going to create these four. So we just did a sales page, four to go. And one of them is already uh, actually, one of them's already been included in the template, which is the the uh, product download page. So let's go to open file, sales page, download this one. Uh, so let's change this up and s uh, just a minute while I get this fixed. <laughs> okay, so uh, Composer crashed and I had to recreate the page all over again, which is a wonderful example of what I'm about to tell you right now always always save your work so uh, what I did was click save as and save this page the sales page as it's uh, special as a special which is the name that I chose for it and when, now that it's done uh, I'm going to also run through quickly of how to create everything uh, else the last few pages let me just take a moment to insert the text that I wanted to insert Okay, let's uh, get rid of this as well. All right, so save that and let's open up a new page. Next, we're going to do the download. <clears throat> so I s chose the extension of thank you.html. So I'm going to save it as right now. That thank you. Now the usual, it's the usual stuff all over again. Change the background. Insert the header. Congratulations, yeah, now I have the PLR video payday course. Image. Please contact. I hope your new course works out great for you.
insert the footer. Okay. So I'm going to save this as the footer. And I'm also going to do something else. Um, since this page is the simplest of templates, it's just the header, the footer, and just some blank space for content, I'm going to save it as the next three pages as well that we're going to be doing, which is a, that terms and conditions, privacy policy, and disclaimer. So terms. Wasn't that that again? Just a moment. Whoops, I closed it by accident, so that's like I said, let's save it as a terms. We're also gonna save next as privacy. And then save it one more time as disclaimer. Now let's open up those three. One second, it's froze again. Sorry about that, my composer's acting up, but it's just another reminder. Save as frequently as you can. So, while the uh, special page is about done, and the thank you page is done, we're going to uh, clear up these pages. This one, the disclaimer page, we're going to clear up the terms page. We're going to clear up the privacy page. And we're going to insert the text required. Uh, so these are legal pages. Uh, you can easily generate the text needed to go on the terms and conditions page by schooling terms and conditions templates, terms and conditions generators. So all I got to do is copy it and paste it. So that's the terms and conditions. Next is the privacy policy. Save, by the way, and save. So that was for, this one's for the disclaimer. And save that. So now we are almost done. Uh, creating web pages doesn't get much easier than this. What's left to do now is start interlinking pages. So uh, what we're going to do is going back to the sales page. We're going to create links home disclaimer terms and conditions privacy policy. We're going to start interlinking those. So I'm going to put those on four pages. Actually, have five pages. Oops. Undo that. Let's try that again. Mm, I see. Well, you have to type it again. Type it again. So 
So I'll show you what we're going to do with these in a minute. But basically, I'm interlinking pages. So you can, links, there, there's links everywhere. That way people can navigate between things. Which is quite necessary, especially for a good quality score in Google's eyes. Quality score basically being the, uh, the quality that Google gives to your site, the, the quality judged by Google in regards to your sites. A high quality score is good, a lower one is not so good. So now the home will be the special page. So we do is click special and click OK. Now, you can probably guess what, how it works. So you interlink, interlink, you select, you go to the pages that we've created, and we select them. So let's say, create link, terms, page, privacy apology, create link. there and that's all there is to it let me just pause this video while I finish creating links in a very similar fashion to that that's all you need to do uh, so let me just pause for a second and we'll fast forward while I get that done okay so the pages have been linked and we're good to go on that end now something I noticed has been uh, a bit erroneous is that the title of the page is a bit uh, is, is wrong so what we're going to do is go to the source is fastest way to fix it and you can edit it that way if you look at the title tags you'll see that uh, you can fix the things up so this page is fine for the, uh, the title the name for that is fine for this page it should be disclaimers so we'll just say get a title disclaimer save this one should be terms and conditions so go to the title tags give it the name you want just terms and conditions save again Now this one, we're going to change that because of the source. Say PLR video payday special offer. It's private label rights. Looks good. We'll click save. And this page will be disclaimer. Oops. I'm sorry, I meant privacy. This will be privacy policy. Click save. Okay, so the pages are looking good. Now we're not quite done yet. We still have a few more pages to edit. Let's open up the original pages as well. So I'm going to say the first three created, which are the index, the squeeze, uh, then the confirmation, and the free download. There's a bit to be done there as well. We want to uh, link, interlink as well when needed. So this one is fine. I'm noticing a missing image. Let's try and insert the necessary one. Hang on. Should I check? 
So um, this page doesn't link to anything. However, this page, you want to link it to the sales page. So we are going to create the link special. Okay, we're also going to link this to find special and click OK. Some unfinished ends. We're going to change that up too. And let's see. We also want to link one more time to the sales page. Alright, we have a pretty nice looking site here. Let me take let me increase the font of that while I can. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the pages have been done. They are interlinked and we are good to go. Oops. I'll do, I'll do that. So we are good to go. So I will see you folks next video. Let me just uh, finish up this presentation here as well. Now that all the pages have been interlinked, let me just uh, add that. Go ahead and do the same. Complete and interlink all of your web pages for your mini site, and you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you in the next one.